Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we look at 6 foot 2 medium high work rates, which are fantastic for a CDM. 4 star, 4 star combination, Michael Balak. Now, Michael Balak's car looks really nice. If you consider him as a CDM, looks class. The 66 agility and balance doesn't look good, but in game, he was really, really good at cutting out play, his passing. Taking the ball forward, he's got four-star skills, so he's got a bit of trickery on him. He's got a re he's always Michael Balak's always had really good shooting. Doesn't matter what FIFA you play, Michael Balak's shooting is always class. Now I want to say that I didn't really test his shot. I find division rivals to be really difficult. So asking one of your CDMs to go forward is that a good idea? I'm not too sure. I mean, my cam. The thing is, when you've got Pele and Ham going forward. Do you really need anybody else going forward? But I'll be honest with you. If there's somebody's shot, I will vouch is Michael Balak's. But like I said, the best thing about this card is just how big and strong and dominant he is in the mid. Don't get me wrong. I've been playing FIFA for a long time and EFC, EFC this year. I know they changed the branding and everything. But this ain't a card like it used to be. Michael Balak was a million coin card. I mean, let's be honest, in FIFA 19, this card was an end-game card. Michael Balak was an end-game card. He was absolutely ridiculous. He was just insane. So, I remember FIFA 20, his base card was good. So, I mean, I don't think Michael Balak's that kind of card where he was, you know, he'd I don't think he's that insane icon anymore. He's a very good icon. He's very good as a CDM. But taking him forward with the agility and balance that he has, it's just a risk, I think, that you just don't need. But I really liked him. You can see what he does. He breaks up play really well. I think he works. He definitely works as a deep line playmaker. He works as a CDM. But as a centre mid, maybe if he's protected, you know, like he's a bit like Pogba. You know, Pogba. He's not a CDM, he's a centre mid. You want him to go, give him licence to go forward, but I just feel like this guy's not far. I mean, if there's a centre mid in this game who I'll give licence, go on, go forward, it's sour. Because she's so slick on the ball. When I'm dribbling with this guy, I'd always be a bit worried that he'd just lose possession. But where I really do like him is, like I said, look, cutting out play, getting the ball. You know, uh, giving it to my team. I think that's the niche and the job role of this card. You know, there's no point sitting here and saying, oh, he's got sensational shooting, he's got this, he's got that. Let's be honest, how many times do I see this guy being asked to go forward? I think most people who would put an instruction on this card saying, stay back whilst attacking. And I think that's the way you want to use him. I'd be careful using two blocky CDMs. And you can see right there what I'm talking about. His agility and balance is not the best. But I'd just be very cautious using two blocky center mids, so CDMs. I'd have this guy paired up. I'd pair him up with quite a um, swift center mid CDM. Just because I don't like having two blocky CDMs. And I was using two blocky and big CDMs. I was using him on Petit. And I, I'd be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of it. Because surely you want one of them to at least move and drive the ball a bit forward. And like I said, a Billy, a Billy or Sour would be absolutely insane. I think there's a huge niche and a job role for good female icons in this game. Because they definitely provide the agility and balance and the nice dribbling, in my opinion. Overall, this card is a B tier card. Don't think he's anything special per se. Thank you.